<laughs> we haven't talked about the animals. <laughs> Fucking cats. <laughs> Let me tell you about cats, right? Okay, so kittens are great. Balls of string, wool, does what it says on the tin. They'll lick from sources of milk. Oh, the cats don't do shit. They do do that, but they don't. It's so it's it's hard about you these days. But I, as Will will probably allude to, you know, it's, it was much the better choice. And when they are there on set, there's this ludicrous reverence for them that's never there for the actors. Okay, the the cats are coming on set. Everyone, be quiet. What the fuck? Why is that not quiet for me? I like it. We're working something out now. Yeah. Why, do, why do I not get snacks after I've done a good take? You know, uh, carried around in a little basket and stroked. I'd love that. Um, However, when, you know, when they are there, in all seriousness, it's like children. There's something so live, it's like fire. It's like, it's something that brings you so immediately focused into the present tense. It's, I just put the record, I do love cats. <laughs> I just don't ever want to work with them again. But I'd love to have one as a pet. Uh, in fact, Norbs, who's the youngest kitten, I was utterly in love with. And <laughs> it was his stand-in. He had a stand-in. I didn't have a stand-in. You did have a stand-in. I did not. <laughs> Well, not that looked exactly like me and did scenes instead of me, let's be honest. And, and, and not, he was called Not Norbs, which was pretty awful for him, but um, he's since been renamed, he, both of which belong to my supposed best friend and producing partner, Adam Ackland, who you met earlier tonight. I, I, would have, I would have liked to have kept the cat at least, you know, but no, I didn't have that. Yeah, but um, yeah, he's, they're still in my life, which is, in all seriousness, a really good thing, because I get to see him at Adam's. And I don't have to clear up the cat litter. <laughs> we do lick sources of milk and play with balls. Yeah. Like, well, they're great. The minute they get sort of adolescence, you can just you can, you can kiss a few hours goodbye. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> and I just remember going to bed, and the, it's just it's very simple. It's all reward. There's no punishment. These are very humanely treated cats, and we all adore them. We've gone very well with them. However, as stars of their show, um, it, it was quite difficult sometimes. And one of the ways of Pavlovianly triggering them is just have this clicker, which is sort of tied in with a food reward, etc. So, yeah, I'd go home in the car, I'd just be still sort of here, <laughs> hearing this click still. We talked about getting a giant uh, clicker. For me. For <laughs>